Hi, I'm Richard, and over the last 10 years, I've helped hundreds of candidates apply for MBAs at top business schools. In fact, our HEC record is 98% of the people we work with receive offers. That's over five times the 18% average acceptance rate for this course. How do we do it? Well, we're gonna give a few tips the first time in this video to help you smash your application. Now, the acceptance rate for HEC is ideally a 2-1 equivalent, that's a 3.3 or above GPA, uh, whatever international requirement you are applying from. There is no minimum GMAT requirement, but I think that's a bit misleading given that 690 is the average score. That's actually a bit lower than some of the other top business schools for an MBA, but by no means easy to hit. Although the candidates we work with, on average, can get in with a 40 lower score. That means that 650 is the average acceptance rate that we have seen. I think that's due to some of these tips we're gonna go through today. Now, tip number one is to show management experience and rapid progression within your career. You need to have at least two years of experience to apply to an MBA, although in very exceptional cases, usually something like already being on the board of a company or having raised lots of money for your startup, you might be able to go into an MBA with less. But that average is six years, and what they want to see is rapid progression. You need to tell your rock star narrative of how you have flown through progression faster than 99% of other candidates. Number two is to be presidential. I often say that applying to an MBA is a little bit like applying to be president of the United States. They want to know about you and your goals and academics as all universities want, but they also want to know about your values, your family, what do you stand in? What profound impact are you going to have on the world? ATC talk a lot about sustainability, and if you can focus on the profound positive impact that you are gonna have, you will stand out above those who are just trying to move back into another banking job, for example. Now, tip number three is to embrace cultural diversity and show your international experiences. HEC is very proudly French, and they love it when you say that you are going to embrace learning the language and more of the culture. Now, it's really important because there is so much diversity on campus, they need to know that you're going to fit in. So if you can talk about work experiences where you have thrived and really enjoyed learning from other people, that will help you to align with the culture. Now on that, HSC have their five values. You want to be talking about at least two or three of those and how they resonate with you throughout your written application to make sure you align well with them. Now that's just a small number of the tens of tips that we have with this course. If you want to work with myself or one of my brilliant network of professional consultants and ex-admission staff, we would absolutely love to help you. There'll be information on the screen and in the description below to see how you can maximize your chances through working with us. Now, next tip is to not over-focus on the GMAT. Yes, the GMAT is important, but it can easily take over 10 weeks of your time. And many people hype to optimize this, rush the application questions, and it is a holistic process. The application questions, your work experience, your CV, it's all taken into account. So it is good to get GMAT, but a lot of people, I think on Pride, are desperate to get over 700. They over-optimize on that, and it's not as important as you might think. As we say, we see many candidates get 650 on average, which means some of our candidates get all the way down to 600 and still get in. Tip number five, be clever about which entry you take. Now, there are two entry points for this MBA at AGC, both September and in January. This MBA takes on average about 16 months to complete, and there's loads of time for work experience and internships. In January, there's a six-month window. For September, there's two three-month windows. If you are applying for finance or a consultancy job, we highly recommend looking at the September intake because that aligns better and deliberately with when their grad schemes and senior roles open up for that internship experience. 
However, the January window is also quite rare. Not all MBAs have a January window, and it's a slightly smaller, usually slightly more experienced cohort. So if you're a bit more experienced and have six or over years, it's a really good time to apply, and you might be more competitive when applying in that time zone. Now, lastly, there are two alumni interviews that will talk about your values, as well as, of course, what you want to achieve with your degree. It's so important to prepare for those properly, and we've amassed over 200 past questions to help you smash that interview. Don't, let, don't be that candidate who gets these amazing opportunities for an interview and then doesn't convert that into an offer. We have a 100% success rate of allowing you to convert that, so please again look for more information at the end of this video if we can help. Now, if you have a budding question, please do leave a comment below. I get back to all of the questions were asked and we want to help as many people as much as we can. But if you want to go one step further and work with me or my brilliant team, contact us using the description on screen. Now, we would love to help you out. Most importantly, good luck.